Now let's go to the testing synchronous code. And just when you test a synchronous code, just must know when the test has finished. Otherwise, you will just continue and, and check it as, as OK and, and it will generate some problems. So here are some examples with callbacks. Here it's saying to not do this, but let me copy and see what happens when I do this. Oh, actually, I must create the project. Okay, now let me copy this. And let's see what happens. Oops. Oh, okay, okay. It fails because fetch data is not defined. So here it's calling the callback after 100 milliseconds and passing this string. That's the same that is expecting here. So let's test, we'll see what happens. And it passes, but well, let me change this from to the peanut butter wrong and see what happens. Okay, you can see here that it marks my test as passed, but in the end, it, it shows that it received the wrong string. So that's because the test is not, is not waiting for the callback to finish. And the fix is to use the done function. So when I pass a done function here, my test will wait for this done to be called before it finishes the test. So let me remove this. Actually, okay, let's keep the wrong. Let's comment this. Okay, now it fails, but it fails on the wrong place. It fails on the task suite. So, let me make it pass. And let's make a test here. If I comment this done, you can see that the test will wait for a long time and eventually it will time out. Okay, it was failed because it was, yes, a single callback took more than five seconds. Okay. We can also use promises on tasks, so let me copy this and paste it here. This fetch data is currently using callbacks, but let me create a fetch data promise. Okay, here because I'm returning the promise, the task knows that it must wait for this promise. Actually, let me make an error here and test see what happens. Okay, it fails and it fails on the right place, but if I remove the return, Here it says that all my tests passed, but eventually in the end it throws this, this unhandled promise rejection warning. That it received something that was not expected, but that after all tests has passed. So let me return this, let me fix the result. We can also test if a promise throws an error, so let me copy this one and paste it here. Okay. 
So let's keep this test. Let me show you. Let me explain you why. Actually, promise. In this case, the promise will resolve and the test will finish because this data promise doesn't throw any errors. Okay. And let me comment this one and do a test. Here it passes because it's because this promise has been fulfilled and the catch didn't happen and and this expect didn't run and because Jess thinks that it we, it all went okay it didn't throw the error so I must tell Jess that there's an expectation here on the catch so I'll say that expect one assertion and it fails that's correct so it was expecting an exertion, this promise has fulfilled, and we didn't get to the, to the catch block. Now let's create the promise that fails. I do not recommend you rejecting something with just this string, but because this test it's it's checking a string, I'll keep it there. But the right thing to do when you reject something is to throw an error. Is to reject with an error inside. But in this case, let's continue this just so we can use the same example. And it passes. If you don't want to use the expect assertions, you can use the, res the resolves or rejects matcher. So let me copy the one with the resolves. Fetch data promise. Okay, it works. And the one with the error. It works. Let let me make it fail. Okay, it fails. Let me remove this return and see what happens. Okay, it passes on first, but it throws the, the, the problem after. And you even if you use the rejects or resolves matcher, you must return the the promise to the test function. And here it fails on the right place. As we use promises, we can also use the async await. So let me copy this expectation. Okay, fetch data promise and fetch data promise with error message. So here on the sync, we are awaiting this this value and expecting it to be the peanut butter. That's correct. And here we are we are wrapping this await of the fetch data promise with our message with a catch, try catch, and we are expecting it to match the error just like we did here on the on the promise example. And also don't forget to expect the assertion here. And you can also use the resolves and rejects matchers. So let me copy this copy here. Okay. Oh yeah. Fetch data with promise. Fetch data with error message. Okay, here is is different from the error message. Here it expects to throw the error in and not to match some string. So in this case, I'll create a new method. Fetch with error. And it works.